All right, time to continue on with Icewind Dale. This is where we last left off. Yes, certainly. And I think I cleared this out already, if I'm not mistaken. I am off. All right, so I think the South Tower is next. I am off. Because last time I completed this tower and this one. Oh, and I completed that at the uh, third level too, so get him back down to the fourth. A reasonable request. I will not permit you to desecrate this tower. Stay away. I, I don't want to fight you. Just leave. Bye. My name is Dananini. I am a priestess of the hand. Uh, what used to be the hand. As you can see, there isn't much left of it. And what remains is a horrid travesty of what once we held sacred. The hand of the Seldarine was once a proud achievement of the Artel Kessir. Out of the raw harshness of the cold, we carved a beautiful elven citadel where we spurred for many centuries. During that time, we were in constant war with the Dark Horde that plagued the area. In the end, the Dark Horde began to overwhelm us, and in a desperate plan to save what was left, Laurel cast a methal that cursed us all. Laurel was our leader, one of the most respected wizards of the Hand. He was the one responsible for building the Hand of the Seldarine centuries ago. After its creation, the Artel Kassir lived in a state of growth and prosperity. Turning the surrounding area into fertile lands and crafting magical items with exceptional power, we made a proud monument to the elven way of life. Soon after, we found ourselves in a war with the Dark Horde, vicious orcs and goblins who wanted nothing more than to destroy everything we held dear. The war with them raged for many decades. Towards the end, the Dark Horde was beginning to overrun us. Desperate, Laurel cast a Methal in hopes of bringing us salvation. Instead, he brought annihilation. The Methal is a powerful spell from ancient and almost forgotten elven lore. It creates a living force and embodies the area it is cast on. Sustaining itself on the natural processes of the environment, it can be bestowed with powers to enhance its protective nature. My stupid. My stupid headphones. Yes, when we faced the grim reality that we were losing, we had to buy stuff. We had to buy time to receive reinforcements from our brothers and sisters in the south. Laurel devised a desperate plan to save us. He intended to lay a methyl down on the hand that would prevent any of the Dark Horde from entering. Even with our swords striking swift and our arrows hitting true, our defenses were being breached. We held out for a week before our last line of defense was broken. As the Dark Horde began ascending our towers and cutting down the last of the elven defenders, a shroud of light engulfed the hand. We had succeeded in buying the royal time with our lives. The methyl had been cast. At the time, we, bought, we thought Laurel had released our salvation. Instead, he damned us all. Something went terribly wrong with the spell. Every living thing in the surrounding land and inside the hand itself was drained of its life essence, almost to the point of death. Our people and our attackers became as shades, driven mad by the life that was taken from them. Even worse, the energies of the methyl took those who had died and brought them back as undead. A few of us maintain our sanity and some semblance of who we were, cursed as we are powerless to do anything to change it or to put any of our brothers and sisters to proper rest. I was one of the younger acolytes of the Hand. During the days when the Hand was still in its glory, I spent most of my time here. As you can see, this level of Sullenar Tower was our shrine to our gods. Here is where the elves of the Hand spent some of their free time worshipping. As with everyone in the Hand when Laurel cast the Methal, we were drained of our life essence and transformed into this blasphemous state of existence. Except for myself, the priests now haunt the upper levels of Sullenar Tower completely void of soul and consciousness. They are condemned to live this way unless... Unless someone can put them to rest. Let's see here. I think yeah, I've read all this before. In its former glory, the shrine was a monument to our elven gods. The statues and adornment pools were built by our most talented artisans. Flowers blossomed year-round in the small garden. We had a simple ritual where we would take a flower from the garden and place it in one of the adornment pools as an offering of our, for our prayer. As you can see, these same pools are not even fit to look at anymore. Until I can find some holy water to purify the pools, they will remain this way. Hmm, is there anything else? Oh, 
All right, so. I am ready. So basically, uh, the shrine was once proud, but now it's cursed for life. This statue once represented an elven god, but now stands in ruin and decay. Oh, I'll say the same thing. It is a shame that he does. What are you idiots waiting for? Oh. No trouble at all. Not bad, not bad. Quickly now. Request. All right, there's some treasures here. I'm gonna 
gonna have to go on a killing spree. Leveled up. Very nice. Only really gains one additional hit point? Hmm. Should be getting more than that, though. treasures. What's this? Oh, broken machinery. Alright, well, I think I know where that's going. Okay, who's got the lowest strength? But dexterity goes down by one, so I have to review. Well, he's got the lowest rank. Well, it would balance out at 13 apiece. A little less nimble, but... He'd be a little bit stronger, but... Well, she can afford a... Well, she can afford to take some loss of dexterity because... She's actually the hardest to hit. Oh, but, our, but it affects her armor class as well. So... In my opinion, at least a good defense is far more important. Symbol of Pearl and Larathian. Okay, so we are going to be, uh... Hmm. So far, he seems to benefit from the most. Because... Because this is much... the girls, though. Hmm. She would benefit it the most. So where'd I put the necklace? Alright. I suppose I... Har, har, har. Alright, any other treasures? No, nope, just those three. Alright. Downstairs. Your reasonable request. Actually, no, I got a better idea. Vita Mortis Kaya. All right. And, uh, Agreed. Yeah, I don't want to take the chance and find out that uh, all my characters are dead, so. I am off. I will do as you ask. Everyone 
is well rested. Yes. I will do as you ask. I will do as you ask. Certainly. Certainly. I think I remember this floor. I think this floor is incredibly difficult. I know it's one of these towers that has an insanely hard room. have come in handy. Ring of Sanctuary. As long as he takes no offensive action, huh? got five charges and I don't think it'd be that useful. Labor calls me. Looks like this is a, uh, a health clinic. Oh, there's the holy water. Oh, perfect. Oh, there's the holy water. Perfect. Oh, 
All right, so I got the holy water. Reasonable request. Saber calls me. I shall do my best. Eh, not a bad way to start a stream. Agreed. You have returned. What is it you wish? You have brought holy water. With this, I can purify the pools and restore some glory to this place of beauty. I know it's not much, but please, take this as thanks. A helmet, huh? I am ready. Saber calls me. I am off. Alright, so after, uh, rest up, we gotta go back to the other tower and, uh, restore some more of the machine. What is your will? A reasonable request? I will do as you ask. Labor calls me. I shall do my best. calls me quickly now labor calls me Okay, so it looks like we're missing another piece of the astrolab. But we are making progress here, so there's only one tower left. I shall do my best. So it looks like there's more. I mean, we gotta go back and talk to that one dude. I shall do my best.
what labor calls me. Use for yes, I shall right, do my so best. let's take a look see here. anything. Huh. Agreed. Yes, I'm certain I didn't miss anything. Agreed. I am off.
reasonable request? A reasonable Three. request? My people. I'm not so sure if I'm supposed to fight him or not. said I cleared out all the towers unless I have to go back somewhere else but I don't believe that's the case Solana was the one I cleared the most recently unless I missed something over here There's something else I missed. I, mean, I don't know. Hmm. I am ready. A reasonable request. Okay, so that takes care of that. Something's missing. Agreed. Unless I missed an item and I got the extra labor. Labor calls me. Can I get everything out of here? Sure did. I don't got anything out of there too. Hmm. Is your agreed? Um, guys, please move out of the way. Quick, agreed. Hmm. Yes. Labor calls me. to uh, investigate this little matter a little further. Because yeah, 
I'm on the third quest already here, so I'm gonna have to uh, do a little digging around. I mean, like I said, I did everything, so I don't know what the problem is. What does that say? Okay, let's go back to the main floor here. Hang on. Certainly. Let me go back to the main floor. Labor calls me. Alright, so we're back here. So how does one get to the uh Alright, so So I don't know if this is uh in any order or what. Yeah, something on our tower I did finish already. I took care of that. Um, yeah, I swear to God I did everything here. So why am I still stuck? And I also gotta get a book. Okay. Alright, so I gotta go back and I gotta get a book. Oop, not what I want. Certainly. Alright. I gotta go back to the first floor of the severed hand. Unless I did that already here. Because there should be four parts. Hmm. I shall do my best. Alright. I will do as you ask. Come on, guys. A reasonable request. Certainly. I shall do my best. Yeah, like I said, I gotta get a very specific Agreed. book. All right, let's see what you have. I think this is the one I need. All right. I am ready. Okay. Certainly. So I gotta go back to Kaldahar. Request. Give this book to Bork. He's gonna give me some uh, free experience. Now, I know I didn't want to do this, but uh, not like I have much of a choice. machine parts in the tower already. Unless I already got it. Which is we're really gonna have to, uh... I will do really gonna have to investigate this whole tower thoroughly. So where are we now? A reasonable request? What a reasonable request. Quickly, I am off. Let's see what about over here.
Wow, look at that. Wow, looky there. I am right, certainly. So I did overlook something. Heh, <laughs> figures. But before I do that, I'm gonna go back to Kaldahar. Labor calls me. So I can turn that book in over to Orc the Grey. A reasonable request. Get some more goods. And plus, this wouldn't be a bad opportunity to stock up on potions. Not that I don't have enough. Just that God knows what's gonna happen later. Labor calls me. Where are you three going? Guys, where are you? some of my allies have no yeah. sense of direction. Okay. I am tired. So, Once a day, that's that's not a bad uh that's not bad. You know? I'll just I'll give it to her, I guess. I am, I am off. I suppose. Okay. Some more potions. Oof. 
new. You guys just have a bad sense of navigation or what? God, I swear. Should do it. What is your will? Certainly. I mean, I have all this gold, but uh. I shall do my. How are my shooters doing for ammunition or ammo? We're back. Let's rest up and let's go back to that tower once again. I don't know the character's getting close to leveling up. I mean, he just got leveled up recently. Yeah, the ladies are getting close, but we still got a ways to go. Quickly now. Certainly. Alright. Do as you ask. 
Saber calls me. Certainly. All right, dude. Here's the last piece of the astrolab. That should be it. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? You have my eternal gratitude for helping me fix her. May Corona guide you. I am ready. Alright, now does he have anything useful to say? Uh, greetings, adventurers. Pardon me while I gather my thoughts. Who are you, and what has just come to pass? Indeed you have, noble adventurers. It must have taken great courage and strength to make it as far as you did, let alone restore some balance to my thoughts. I am eternally in your debt. But surely you did not come to the hand of the Seldarine on a whim. Tell me what it is you seek. Very well. As legend states, the Heartstone Gem is an ancient artifact from a time long forgotten. Its most notable owners were the druids of Kaldahar before one within their circle stole the gem. It was thought forever lost, until now. The Heartstone Gem contains powerful scrying abilities that can divine the affairs of people throughout the realms. There are only a few within the land who know how to release its powers. I am one of them. With that said, what is it you seek to learn from the Heartstone Gem? Then you will have what you seek. Hand me the Heartstone Gem. Freed from the shackles of his tormented mind, the cursed Elven Lord was at last able to assist the heroes in their quest. Handing over the Heartstone Gem, the party stood back and watched Laro begin his divination. With the artifact raised before him, clutched tightly in his skeletal hands, the undead sorcerer peered intently into the gem as he whispered a series of strange chants and incantations. A spark of light briefly flashed within the gem, as if a ray of sunlight had caught upon its surface. And suddenly, reflected within the mirrored facets of the stone, there appeared an image of a statue. The statue was clearly a monument of sorts, depicting an elf and a dwarf sitting side by side on a dual throne. Even if Labellus's curse had taken my eyesight, I would still recognize that home. What you have seen is Dorne's deep den of the betrayers. And here is where the wretched dwarves hollered out their home. forth to that dwarven vestige of evil, and I will mark its location on your map. Also, I have the power to take you there if you wish, my beloved daughter. I see you are thorough in your search of the hand. The last entries describe her resolve to find a way to reforge the union with those accursed dwarves. I never saw her again. Fools! Can you not desert it with your own mind? Those dwarves committed the worst atrocity, knowing its impact on me. They murdered my daughter. For that, I will never forgive them. For the punishment I suffered for my arrogance and pride, Labellus be damned if he thinks I will forgive them for what they did. I would stay in this cursed form, never to see Arvindor, if it meant I could make the dwarves pay for their crime. Leave now! I will not speak of this anymore. What is your will? I will do as you ask. You have returned. You wish to learn what came to pass within the hand of the Seldarine. Very well. There is much to tell. Shall I start with the time of prosperity? In I'll light of the there. greater threat of the Orcish and Goblin hordes of the North, we elves allied ourselves with the dwarves. The alliance was a Surpassed beauty. 
With the unity of our two races wielding the magical benefits of our labor, the hordes were easily kept in check. Our cooperation continued, and we prospered in harmony for many decades. Until the betrayal. You will need to be patient, as this is a bitter subject for me. A great debate ensued with our dwarven allies regarding the magic items created by our union. It seems the greed inherent in all dwarves could not be contained. They wanted to begin selling our magic items to the other settlements in the north. Preposterous, I told them. To allow others access to these artifacts, all for the sake of profit. I was appalled, but not surprised. Dwarves cannot resist their selfish nature for long. My people and I were adamant that the humans were not to have any access to any magical artifacts. After many months of debate, the dwarves conceded, and we thought the issue done. Then, a day came that marked the fate of both races. Our forces encountered what we thought another typical group of the orc and goblin hordes. What should have been an easy battle turned out to be a hard-fought victory. For they were using artifacts and weapons created by the Alliance. Furious, we questioned the dwarves about this. No elf would ever give our greatest treasures to a hated enemy. The dwarves, of course, denied our accusations. In honor of our Alliance through the decades, we extended our trust further and tried to come to some solution. We were fools to believe we could coexist with these rocky any and all discussions just turned into open argument and further accusations. Did the dwarves think we'd be stupid enough to assume that the artifacts just magically appeared in the Horde's camps? As to be expected, open conflict broke out. The decades of friendship and prosperity ended that day. The Alliance was no more. On that day, the Elves of the Hand of the Zeldarine were alone against the dwarves and the goblinoid Hordes. You wish to learn what centuries ago the Hand of the Seldarine waged war with the Dark Hordes encroaching on the north. This war waged for decades, and towards the end, we found ourselves in a losing position. The tide of war was against us. Our forces were diminishing slowly but surely after every conflict. We were isolated from the rest of the Elves south of us. With no support from our brothers and sisters, and impending doom at our doorstep, I became desperate. I concocted a plan to protect my people and buy us some time. Ancient elven magic speaks of a spell used in days of old, named the Mythal. This Mythal embodies the land with a living and protective life force, personifying all that is elven. This living force can also be given abilities of a protective nature, powers that would have kept the Dark Hordes away from the hand of the Sovereign and its surrounding lands. Wizards and I locked ourselves within this tower and began the arduous process of laying a mythal. Within this time, the orcs and goblins sensed our weakened state and moved in for the kill. The largest force we had ever seen besieged the hand, and the mythal was not near completion. We knew this was our last stand, and my people knew they had to buy time. For a week, we held the horde back. Entrenched in our home, my people fought, and the Horde paid dearly for every room of the hand they took. For every elf that fell, the Horde paid tenfold. For all the sacrifices my people made, the last line was breached in a week's time. As the Horde began ascending the towers and the last of the defenders fell, I realized my people's sacrifice was not made in vain. We completed the last incantations for the Mythal. The spell was cast, and a shroud of pure light and energy engulfed the hand. As I watched what I thought was our salvation enter every crevice of the hand, I became horrified. Something had gone terribly wrong. The force that was supposed to bring life to the land began to twist and corrupt it. It was draining everything and everyone within the hand. Driving them mad. 
those who died in the battle began to rise as hideous undead. It was at this point where I realized I wasn't the only one watching the rampant destruction of the hand and all within. Standing before me was Labellus Enereth, the elven god of longevity and time. He was angry with me, angry as he saw the most ancient of elven magic used with carelessness. Angry as he watched the lives and the land of his people being unnaturally twisted. Angry that my pride and arrogance led to the breakdown of the union between the elves and the dwarves. I was transformed into a Baelorn. My punishment was to watch over the ruins of the hand of the Seldarine and its people. Cursed forever until the astrolabe was restored by putting my people to proper rest. All right, so quickly now. You have returned. The Heartstone's divination had at last revealed the source of the evil in the mountains. Ahead loomed the solitary peak that housed the dwarven stronghold known as Dorne's Deep. With Laryl's warnings of dwarven treachery still ringing in their ears, the heroes readied their weapons and started toward the cave entrance and whatever challenges lay beyond. Labor calls me. Here we are, Dorn's Deep. You halt. You trespass on Orog territory. No matter, you die now. She got an additional uh, weapon proficiency. Very nice. Hmm. Well. Oof. I don't know. I to think of this. Well. Further, but I don't know what to uh, I don't know what to do at this point. Hmm. I just don't know what to say. I guess I could do a katana. I guess. Labor calls me. <laughs> There's the entrance to Dorn's Deep. I think if I remember correctly, I think the vast majority of these enemies are fire. Labor they're calls fire, they're me. ice. I'm trying to remember. Oh god, I remember this place. God, this place is so annoying. Yep, that's why. These mushroom dudes. I think they can only be killed by magic items, if I'm not mistaken. Wait a minute, what's going on? 
Oh, it sounds like there's another battle going on. Etons. for the orcs. I will do as you ask. Nice job. Alright, so. What is it? Looks like Joanne leveled up. She can learn another level 4 and level 5 spell. Very nice. This is going in there. Well, this is not a bad spell to have. I am. I am off.
A large monument with a giant carving of an elf and a dwarf as its centerpiece. An inscription between the two reads, Through unity we persevere. What? I shall do my best. Well, it's like that guy said, uh, the alliance uh, didn't last, so... So there's a cave there. Alright. Here. Okay, it looks like I can't reach that area yet. Leveled up. Maybe another level four, level five. up because I don't want to lose this progress. Okay, it looks like I can get down here. I'm not entirely sure how my path was blocked. I will do as you ask. Okay, so there is something here. What is it? Vita! What? I am off. So I think this would be a good time to leave. A reasonable request? And get my character's uh, magic restored. Quickly now. Yeah, so I'm the next character to level up, but it's going to take some time.
And I think if I remember correctly, the mushroom guys respawn. Do as you ask. Labor calls me. So our bridge is the next Saber stop. Calls me. But before we do that, then we gotta take care of him. But for 4,500 experience, that's not terrible. I mean, it could be a whole lot worse, but... Oh, okay, it looks like these guys respawn as well. But like I said, not a terrible thing to do, I suppose. Yeah, like I'm gonna converse with a spider. I don't know what interesting thing they'd have to say. Holy Jesus, look at all these dudes. Right. Oh, she's poisoned. Oh, jeez. I think we're gonna have to go fast. Ready 
to do adventuring and stuff. Oh, good lord. Edward, no. No, Edward, no. Yes, labor calls me. I shall do my best. Labor calls me. Hey, you guys just concentrate on the shooters. I'll take care of any of the uh. The thing it was that the enemies were weak, but there were but there was numbers. As you know, you know the only thing about numbers, there's strength what in them. Quickly, I am Oof. Off. Everyone else survived, but I took the brunt end of the uh, beating. What? Start selling the stuff. I, am I will do as you ask. I'll come back later. Man, that was quite a beating I took. Certainly. Not like over here where these dudes are easy to kill. Show me a target, no 
I'll smash yeah, you. I shall do my best. Yeah. Oh boy. This I can't see ending well, so. Now I will show you true strength. Oh, Jesus Christ. I shall do my best. Yeah, the insane thing is that I had 91 hit points going into this. I'm just gonna let them kill each other, you know. You know what's interesting is that why are these ends and myconids attacking each other? Hmm. It doesn't say exactly from where, though. That's much better. I guess you could say that uh, this would be a good place to get some uh, XP for my characters. I guess. Attack a dude while he's not able to defend himself. Yeah, that's real tough there, big guy. <sighs> they just can't make things easy, can they? But I think the good news is that they can only do it once for battle. Jesus, look at all that. What are you doing? Yeah. Help me, I can do it. 
I suppose I got some time to kill. Yeah, no trouble at all. Oh, what are you doing? I okay. got it. Just do not make things easy. I, I will do as you ask. Guys, regroup here. What do you I should do my best. All of yous. Yeah, I swear to God, this. I mean, I can understand that you want to progress forward in the quest, but. <sighs> like I said, they just don't make things easy. Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. I am certainly. I mean, if you take on one or two enemies at a time, it's not that big of a deal. It's pretty easy. I mean, you have a whole group of them coming after you. And that's another problem altogether. Quickly now. I shall do my best. <laughs> Show me a target and I'll smash it. Sure you will, big guy. Sure you will. I definitely will say that these ends are not to be trifled with. That is not the definition of a close call. I don't know what is. Vita, Mortis, Kaya. Vita, Mortis, Kaya. I don't know my character is taking four enemies. kill each other, you know? Like I said, why should I waste my time and energy uh, killing these guys? I, I am off. Yeah. <laughs> what? I shall do my best. I suppose I guess. Prepare to be destroyed. Now, with this true power. Now it's your guys' turn to feel my pain. After all, you guys are in better shape than I am, so... Saber calls me. Yeah, nah, I don't think so. Then, of course, the counter-argument is, uh... You ask. Well, okay. you're a fighter. You're supposed to take the brunt end of all this, not us. I, I shall do my best. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I know the routine. I'm ready to do adventuring. And stuff. It is a shame that we must resort yeah. to violence. Oh, all right. Can't tell my character to get healed. What? Certainly. Now I will show you true strength. I know the routine. Show me a target, and I'll smash it. Ow! Yes. I know the routine. Show me a target, and I'll smash it. It is a shame that we must resort to violence. I suppose I got some time to kill. I know the routine. Show me a with this Don't I have a spell that dispels panic? Somewhere? I could have sworn I did. 
I forgot who has it. That's not it. Set. What Let's is your go. Work? Labor quickly now. Oh, yeah. Yes, I am off. I am off. Serena's another yes. uh, weapon proficiency. I forget. Oh, it's a katana. That's right. What is your will? Oh, yeah. Quickly, a reasonable request. I will do as you ask. I am off. Bring it on! 
Okay, let's see how tough you guys are now when you have to have fully restored. Now, another thing I'm not so certain about is if these uh, Mykonids are uh, yes. giants or not. That's another thing I'm not certain about. I shall do my best. So like I said, I'm not a D&D aficionado. experience at a pretty quick rate here uh i'm getting close to leveling up but the question is though is it worth it well let's go back outside and rest I real quick to interrupt, but perhaps Labor calls me. i mean considering okay, that this isn't that it. difficult uh It works outside Dragon's Eye. Alright. That works out perfectly. Yes. Great. Neighbor calls me. That's what Neighbor I like to see. Me. And of course they're back. Oh, it's actually warm them now, huh? Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's nice. Watch that, Mike, and I can blast it to bits. I am ready. Labor calls me. It is a shame that we must resort to violence. Oh, if I really wanted to, I could. Act. Hey, stop it! Yeah, okay. Hey, fighter, leave poor Serena alone. Let her be, all right? Jeez, dude. Quickly now. Why'd you have to do that to force Arena? I'm here. Yes, certainly. Why are we going all over the place here? Show me a target and I'll smash. What is your will? Die! 
This time, actions must speak louder than words. Serena, come back here. I mean, this is impressive that we're getting experience, but uh, this is something not what I had in mind. Hey, get after her. Serena, save her. If you guys want to pick on someone, pick on a fighter. You know? At least they can fight back. I heard you. I shall do my best. Don't you sass me. Yeah, like I said, the only downside of doing this is that the enemies respawn. But. On a positive scale, we're getting experience, so I guess it's a, it's a case. What is it? I guess it? it's a, a double-edged sword in this case. My character's getting close to leveling up too, so. And I really want to save the spell, healing spells, as a, as an emergency. Quiver. All right. Quickly now. I will do as you ask. Suffer a scratch that time. Yes. Huh. That is pretty impressive. I am ready. A reasonable request. What is your quickly now? Okay, so it is divided. I was keep yes. forgetting about how experience works in this game. I was gonna say, if all, uh, if all six party members got 6,000 points apiece, they'd level ready. up pretty fast. I am off. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 is getting real close to leveling up. Mm -hmm. What is your will? A reasonable well, request? You met. Oh, he's panicked. Like I said, I could have sworn that there was a spell that removes panic. Well, that's fear. That's different. Fear is different from panic. Destroyed. 
Yeah. Steal yourself. Yes, of course. I suppose I got some time to kill. Sure. I just love that from Edward. Sure. Christ, dude. Quickly now. Yes. Vita Mortis Kaya. I shall do my I really can't make any progress because apparently, uh I am ready. All these dudes are uh just getting in the way. What what I shall do my best. I was trying to think I said I'm getting real close to leveling up my fighter. Other dudes around here I can fight real quick. Three hit more hit points. Huh. Let's go figure. But I guess three hit points is better than nothing, Quick, I suppose. I will do as you ask. Not that I sound ungrateful or anything, but these crazy crazy Mykonids are just too much. So who will be next after this? I guess some time to kill. Yeah, but. That's a very long ways. Yes, I shall do my best. That's what better way to end a stream than on a uh, than on a level up. Vita Mortis Vita Mortis Well, now that I think of it, hmm. No, never mind. Well, anyways, uh, that's gonna do it for this session. Uh, thank you all who watched. I will see everyone next time.